In this video, we're going to learn how to use the EO month or end of month function. Let's say you have a report in front of you where you have to go ahead and put in the end of month date. Instead of typing that in every single time you use the report, you can go ahead and have a function do that work for you. We'll start here in cell B5. I'll say equal EO month and tab it in. Two arguments here. First of all, it's my start date. This is the point that Excel will then go ahead and determine the end of month from. So I'll go ahead and put B3, comma. Now I could do the month I'm in or the month that this date is located in, which is October. If I want the end of the current month the date is in, I would say zero. If I want a date in the future, I would do a positive number, like maybe two for two months in the future, or I would put a negative number, like negative three, for three months in the past. Let's say I want the current month end of date. I'll put a zero in here, close it out, push enter, and here I have the end of month function. 